Hey everybody, I got some heat sinks over here that we were playing around with. Let me tell you what happened. We had a laptop that was overheating. So we opened it up, cleaned the fans, reapply thermal paste, the basics. That's what everybody said, just the thermal paste, it's probably dirt. Did all that, it was clean thermal paste, cranked it up, immediately would hit 100 degrees, not even with stress, just booting up. Wouldn't even get to the boot up, it wouldn't even get to the desktop. So scratching our heads, we knocked every, you know, eliminated all the other ops, all the other uh, variables. We said, well, it's the heat sink. We ordered another heat sink on eBay. These, you can't get them new. We ordered another one from eBay, came in, and the device still got hot. So we said, no, no, hold on a second. It's not the heat sink. It is the heat sink. Bottom line is we did a little further digging into the unit that was having the problem in HP. And we found that it was a very common problem. Since we got the the, uh, the heat sink off of eBay used, we said, hey, maybe they took this off a of bad unit and they sent it to us. So we ordered another heat sink. We got it from China. So we don't get anything from somebody here in the US that you know is re reusing a bad heat sink. Um, took four weeks, came in. It was still a used heat sink. Put it on. Bingo, that thing was running, I don't know, 40, 50 degrees. It was like night and day, unbelievable. So I was curious as to how a piece of metal that you would think is just metal transferring heat could not work uh, or what have you. So apparently there's some type of liquid in here, a chemical or something like that, that over the course of time, maybe either leaks out, it gets bad, I don't know. So this is the bad heat sink. We just opened it up because we're just curious. And if you're curious, that's why you're watching this video. And we found all this black stuff in here. I was expecting a liquid or a gas to come out, but no liquid, no gas. But it looked kind of black. All this, I don't know, whatever this is, sot, corrosion, whatever it is, came out. But the question was, is it supposed to be there or not? What do we have to compare? So we did some digging in the junk pile back there and grabbed a couple other heat sinks and opened them up. And when we opened these up, they're, you know, clean as a whistle inside. You can see they're even shiny. Instead of instead of uh, copper, they look like gold. We might pass this off for some gold, melt this down. So nice and shiny. So that was one. We said, well, maybe there's different heat sinks. We got another one. Same thing. Maybe there's two lucky ones. Let's get another one. So, so yeah, we just grabbed a bunch of heat sinks. And yeah, they're supposed to just be clean inside like that. And this one was bad for whatever reason so we can't tell you why but so yes can a heat sink go bad a piece of metal that's what this is a piece of metal that transfers heat over to the cooling fans fins or whatever and then the you know the fan blows the heat off of there can that piece of metal go bad the answer is yes and you're looking at it right there so once you've exhausted all your other issues, all your other variables, replace your heatsink. If you can get a new one, all the better. And that's what's going on today at PC911.